Hey guys, it's Clint. Uh, I want to talk about self-publishing. Uh, so to start this off, I watch this channel uh, quite frequently. Um, you've probably heard of it. If you watch my channel, you've probably heard of this channel. Comic Tropes, he's got uh, 51,000 subscribers. And uh, I like his videos for a few reasons. Um, but I do want to point out that I've watched enough of his videos to know that he probably disagrees with most certainly we disagree politically <laughs> i'm sure we dis uh we disagree on religious matters i'm sure uh we disagree on i would imagine comics gate i don't know that he's ever actually said anything directly addressing it but i would guess we probably disagree there uh i don't know though i, d I don't want to put the words in his mouth maybe not maybe we don't um but he has a really he, he just does a great job make, putting these videos together and he has really good criticism on comics and he'll do it on all kinds of comics and he does it in a really um you know even handed or even playful way uh so i i really dig his videos if you haven't watched them and uh you know i would suggest it comic tropes um yeah, I, I dig his videos. I think uh, he's going. This his channel is going to continue to grow, even bigger. Okay, so most recently he did this video on Dave Sim. I will admit I don't know a lot about Dave Sim. I know you know he wrote Cerebus, and that was about it. Cerebus never really appealed to me. Um, it was sort of big before I was into comics. Um, just because you know, if if you follow the channel, you'll know I didn't get into comics until I was an adult. Uh, so yeah, Cerebus, I kind of just, you know, missed it. Um, but it was really interesting because in this video, uh, on comic tropes, he went over Dave Sim and a lot of, uh, Dave Sim's just career. And then <laughs> some of the controversies that, uh, Dave Sim has been involved in. And I'll say it was funny because some of the controversies, uh, like him saying that he's not a feminist, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> It <laughs> doesn't seem that controversial. Uh, but on the other hand, there's the, you know, that blog post that a few months ago, the blog post about him uh, essentially uh, grooming a minor. Uh, that was weird. That That's that's definitely weird. Uh, but all that is beside the point. So the part that was really interesting about this that I didn't really know, <laughs> and, which is Cerebus had uh, it really was a self-published success. And when I when I think about indie comics, there are a few different titles of indie comics that have really really done well. They've had a lot of success, and they've you know rags to riches kinds of stories. Uh, Dave Sim is really interesting because not only was it in indie comics, but it was so self published that uh, his like the height of his success it was him uh, publishing books in big volumes, several pages for like twenty five bucks, something like that. And he would himself ship them to his customers. So he was totally cutting out comic stores. It was direct to consumer. Uh, and he did really, really well uh, with that kind of model. And it is amazing, too, because you think about it. And even I, who um, you know hadn't been into Cerebus, it, uh, I wasn't even into comics in the 80s. Um, I knew about Cerebus, and I've seen it places. That really is pretty amazing, if you think about it, um, that that was how he really had his success was in self-publishing. Now I've self-published a, a couple novels and um, it, it's always like one of those caveats you feel like you have to you put in. Oh yeah. Yeah. I published, published this book. It, it was just self-published. So, you know, you kind of have to downplay it because uh, that makes it less for some reason, if it's self-published. Um, and I get that. Like there's not the, there's no gatekeeper to self-publishing. It's all just you. Uh, literally anybody could self-publish. Now, what separates, though, uh, just anybody self-publishing versus somebody self-publishing uh, and really being successful at it at a level that you don't need a publisher, that there's a big difference there. So for a while, I had thought that uh, to really get your book into the public consciousness, uh, you'd have to go beyond self-publishing. Um, I do think you definitely have to have a larger print runs and get out to more people. Uh, and what is more people? I don't know. I don't know what that magic number is, but you constantly reaching out and just getting the book out to as many people as you possibly can. Uh, all of that is 
important just to getting it out there. Um, and D Dave Sim did that. So this was a really interesting video. Um, got me thinking about self-publishing. I don't know. I'll say I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'll probably stream. This is a Monday video. I'm probably going to stream Monday night anyway. Um, so, and I'll get back into the news and stuff. That's what most people want to watch is what is going on. But I do think these are important issues. Uh, so Richard Paul Evans, maybe you've heard of him. He wrote, uh, the Christmas box. That was his big self-published success. Um, I don't know, is it the nineties or something like that? Uh, but Richard Paul Evans, uh, he's actually related to me or I'm related to him, whatever. I've never met the man. Uh, he's, uh, related to my mom. I think they're cousins or something anyway. So, um, you know, I, I had been aware of his success, uh, for many years. <laughs> I had been aware of it. Um, and th the story that I heard, uh, was that he published the, the Christmas box. He got, a, he got a bunch printed. So he's truly self published this. And this was way before Amazon or anything like that. Uh, he, he published a bunch, bunch of books, got them printed and he did good old fashioned, like door to door sales and, and just sold it to people. Um, and he marketed, he marketed this book like crazy. Uh, and so now like I'm on his website right now and you can see how many books he has out. He has way more than I, than I thought he had. Uh, but, uh, which, you know, that's, that's cool. So yeah, lots and tons of books. There it is. The Christmas box. Um, he did a ton of books and he made a ton of money. The man is rich, uh, extremely rich. <laughs> it's like sometime I'm like, I'd like to talk to you about writing, but I have no way to contact him or anything like that. Uh, even though we're, you know, distantly related. Um, so again, here is self-publishing. I, the, the more I think about this, he was able to do this and have such a wide reach. And he started by printing books, printed it from a publisher and just got tons and tons of books. And he went and sold them to as many people as he could just to get that book out there. Uh, it was just pounding the pavement. Now today, when you've got platforms like Indiegogo or, uh, you know, let's say you do have distribution, you're getting into comic shops or even just calling comic shops. That's different than, than I imagine it'd be more difficult to get a book into like a Barnes and Noble or something like that, uh, just by calling them up because at least with comic shops, you can probably talk to the owner because they're all just small businesses. Uh, most book retailers are not, I'm sure there are, there are many out there, but they're few and far between. So at what point do you go from being, Oh, I'm just self published to I, I am, I am a publishing company. I publish my comic. Um, and then, and see the kind of success that Dave Sim has seen, uh, over his career <laughs> just from getting, doing his books and getting them out to people. I don't know the, you can tell this is what I've been thinking about over the past several days, just that there's so many little nuances to publishing and to the direction that you could take things, um, and to see success. And, um, I think if the more, the more that we can figure this out and figure out, uh, a route that works. Um, I'm hoping that we can find a route that works for a lot of people and it'll make sense and it'll start, we'll start seeing these books that have been crowdfunded, not just out to, you know, a thousand or maybe 2000 people, but it's actually getting out to tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. That's where you really see uh, something become a cultural icon uh so i don't know a little bit interesting to see so let me know your thoughts are on self-publishing and i don't know comic tropes i'm curious to know let me know in the comments below and i'll probably see you on a stream soon so thank you very much i'll see you next time